because there's one conspiracy theory that people say it didn't happen, it's, it's all fairy tales, it's all nonsense. And yet, I believe that with all of my heart. What am I talking about? The resurrection. Did Jesus Christ really rise from the dead? Did that really happen or was it just a conspiracy theory? What do you think? You think he did really rise from the dead? For anyone who says he didn't rise from the dead, let me ask you a question. What year were you born in? Say you were born in 1991, 1991 years after who? After Jesus. He split time in two because he, what he did was so mighty, was so amazing, that he literally split time in two. BC in the uh, before Christ, AD in the year of our Lord. He was that mighty that he, when he rose from the dead, the world was turned upside down. You know, people say that, 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 where's the body then? Well, that's the question you need to ask. If you really do believe Jesus didn't rise from the dead, you find me the body. There was many skeptics, many people who did not want this man, Jesus, to rule over them. And they tried to disprove it and they couldn't. But let me ask you a question. If you say Jesus is a fairy tale, what about your sin? Is that a fairy tale? Your sin isn't a fairy tale, is it? I've done wrong. If you look at me right now, I'm a man who's told many lies. I'm a man who's made people cry. I'm a man who's done terrible things. I've even wound up people today talking. I'm a sinner and I've got a problem with my sin. And yet the Son of God, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, was smashed to pieces on a cross so that you and I could be forgiven. And that sin can be gone forever if you turn to him right now. I wonder what you think of Easter. Is it all just about some Easter eggs? Is it all about a bit of party, you know, a bit of time off? Or do you really consider the real message that Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago was nailed to a cross because you've got a problem of sin and you need forgiveness and yet he loved you enough to bleed and die there for you? Please consider these things. Now, if there's any atheist today going by in Lancaster, I just want to challenge you. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said Harry Potter is the worst book in the world? What would you say to me? Well, you might say, read it first and then make a judgment. Well, I'm saying, don't say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. And I'll give anyone a portion of the Bible for free. You can just take it from my hand if you'd like it.